Well, you guys got another video. Is Windows 11 better than Windows 10? That's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. This is February 2024, and I get a lot of questions still from people hating on Windows 11 and also asking the question, should I upgrade to Windows 11? So we're going to go through and I'll give you my personal opinion. And again, at the end of the day, it's all going to be about your own choice, whether you want to upgrade or not, because people are going to have their own opinions on certain operating systems. And that's just the way it is. First off, the biggest concern is bloat and also uh, privacy concerns, telemetry. That is one of the biggest concerns with people that are frightened to upgrade to Windows 11 because of this problem. And really, you shouldn't worry about it too much because, as I've said before, you can turn a lot of this stuff off with group policy, as you can see here on the screen. These are all set in Group Policy Editor. If you have Windows 11 Pro or even Windows 10 Pro, you can just disable a lot of this stuff and turn it off. So it's not a big deal and it's easily reversible. There's no scripts you need to download and there is no programs that you need to download to turn a lot of this stuff off. What you need to do is go into Group Policy Editor and start making some changes in here. I've made tons of videos on how to disable a lot of this stuff. And as you can see, a few little simple clicks here and you've now turned off a bunch of uh, privacy concerns that you may have with Windows 11. So really, if you have a Windows 11 compatible PC, there is nothing stopping you from upgrading to Windows 11. A lot of people will just sort of slam Windows 11 and say it's just really slow and sluggish and full of bugs. And to be honest with you, a lot of the bugs have been ironed out and there's not so many bugs on Windows 11 as there was at the very beginning. And this could be said for Windows 10 as well back in the day that was full of bugs. Now, another big problem is the start menu. A lot of people don't like it, but you can use something like start 11, like I've got here and customize it to your own liking. And again, there's many different types of menus you can choose from. This is just one of them, and I've customized it to suit myself. And I do prefer this over the Windows 11 start menu. Once you change this start menu, it really makes Windows 11 a lot more usable in my personal experience. I prefer to change the start menu because I don't like the original start menu that comes with Windows 11. So by just making a simple change, and this is only about five pounds to purchase, and you can change the start menu, and there is free versions out there that you can use, but I just prefer the feel and look of start 11. So that's just my personal uh, experience and preference with start 11. Remember, you don't have to use another start menu if you really don't want to. Now, Windows 10 won't receive any more feature updates and it's fast approaching its 2025 uh, end of life. That means that if you want to receive security updates after that period, you will have to pay a premium for those security updates to continue for another three years. Now, there is a slight difference between what features are on Windows 11 and what features are on Windows 10. One of the key things about Windows 11 is it's way more secure than any previous version of Windows. And love it or hate it, it's the system requirements, which is the TPM 2.0 that's made it more secure as well. And also a few more security features that they've added to Windows 11, which makes it more secure than any previous version of Windows. And that can only be a good thing. And let me tell you, I know a lot of people like Windows XP and Windows 7. But those were super easy to infect and they were always getting infected. And every single day I used to clean those in my shop uh, and remove malware on a daily basis on those systems. Whereas Windows 11, it's completely gone away. A lot of those problems have gone away. It's mainly just adware and spyware that gets installed on the system, which is pretty easy to remove, uh, really. And uh, it's not a big problem like it once was. And I haven't seen many people asking for help to remove malware on a Windows 11 system. Now, one of the big problems with Windows 11 was the system requirements. To meet their minimum system requirements, you had to have TPM 2.0. And of course, a lot of computers didn't have that. And they just discarded those computers saying they were not compatible with Windows 11. And of course, some of these computers were still serviceable in 2023 and 2024. And of course, they just can't upgrade to Windows 11. So now they're forced to use Windows 10 or buy a brand new computer or, or replace the motherboard and stuff like that to a more compatible uh, piece of hardware that is going to run Windows 11. 
Now, we already know that it runs Windows 11 because there's a bypass that you can use to run Windows 11 on those systems. Now, Microsoft have insisted that if you don't meet the minimum system requirements, you can't upgrade to Windows 11 for free and you just can't use Windows 11 on that old system. Although you can still use Windows 10 up until October 2025. And again, there is an option to extend for another further three more years if you want to pay for those security updates, which should probably see the end of life of them old systems anyway. But I do think it's important to mention that to go forward and make Windows more secure and to stop malware from attacking Windows so easily, they had to make some changes. And of course, these changes have been made for Windows 11 and it is a lot more secure and it is less easy uh, to infect like, say, Vista, Windows 7 and Windows XP. And Microsoft made massive advancements with Windows 10 and they've stepped that up even further with Windows 11. So it is a step in the right direction. And the operating system now is heavily protected against malware and other nasty stuff. It's not perfect, but no operating system is. So you have to give them kudos for uh, making it more secure. Now, you're always going to get people that don't like an operating system for whatever reason. And that's always been the same with Microsoft. There's always been people that liked certain operating systems and some people hated them. That's just the way it is in life, you know, and uh, I've grown to like Windows 11. It's got some quirks that I don't like, but again, I'm using it and I've been using it since it's been released because that's my job and that's what I have to do. But at the end of the day, we all have to move forward and we're going to have to accept it or choose another operating system. It's that simple because unless you want to use an operating system without security updates, which is really ridiculous and stupid. I see people saying you don't need antivirus programs. You don't need to update Windows. It's all just a sham. It's a load of nonsense. Don't listen to those people. They don't know what they're talking about. And at the end of the day, uh, let's talk about gaming. A lot of people also go on about gaming, about FPS and latency and all this nonsense. I don't have any issues playing games. I win games on Fortnite every single night and I don't have any sort of issues whatsoever. And a lot of that is because I'm using a modern computer. If you're using an old Dell Optiplex, a HP, or one of these old systems, and you've dropped a graphics card in there because you've watched some YouTube channel telling you to do this, but at the end of the day, what you've got to remember, that is an old computer, and you're going to have bottlenecks. You're going to have micro stutters. You're going to have latency issues. You're going to have a lot of problems happening with those old computers. And you can tweak it as much as you like. Uh, it's not going to make much difference. At the end of the day, start thinking about upgrading your system to a newer system. And a lot of those problems will go away. So does Windows 10 outperform Windows 11 on gaming? And the answer to that is no. Not from what I've seen. Uh, Windows 11 does outperform uh, Windows 10 on a lot of games by a small amount. And on some of them, it does perform a lot better than Windows 10. But that being said, there is probably some cases where Windows 10 might outperform Windows 11 on some games, depending on what the game is, but not by a lot. So it's not really an argument worth having. It's not by vast amounts that you're going to see a massive difference if you use Windows 10 over Windows 11 or Windows 11 over Windows 10. Everyone has an opinion and the choice is going to be yours at the end of the day, whether you choose to use Windows 11 or Windows 10. I just don't think Windows 11 is as bad as what a lot of people make out. Yes, it's got some bugs and uh, Windows 10 has some bugs too. But at the end of the day, this is Windows. Windows will always have bugs. Linux has bugs too, and Linux has issues, just like any other operating system. So to answer your question, is Windows 11 better than Windows 10? And the answer to that is yes, it is. Whether we like it or not, it is a better operating system all round. It's just whether the fact that you like it or not or whether you're going to change someone's opinion on it. And that's going to be impossible to do. A lot of people are still using Windows 10 over Windows 11. And that could be due to the fact that Microsoft have made such strict uh, system requirements where they're forced to use Windows 10 because they can't upgrade to Windows 11. Well, I don't think that's the full reason. I think a lot of people are stuck in their ways and they're using Windows 10 uh, right up until the last knockings, and they will then... Uh, upgrade to Windows 11. Hopefully by then, Windows 11 will be left alone and they'll be talking about Windows 12 and people will then use Windows 11 
or up until its end of life before they upgrade to Windows 12. You'll always get people that will upgrade straight away. And I'm pretty sure in time, Windows 11 will become uh, their favorite operating system, just like Windows 10, because everyone hated Windows 10 when it was first released. And now everyone loves it all of a sudden. What I can't see is people jumping ship to Linux. I know a lot of people do say it in the comments section, but most of those people will end up coming back to Windows. And most of the Linux users that I know that use Linux also use Windows either in VirtualBox inside Linux or they've got it uh, as a dual boot. And that's just the way it is. Anyway, the choice is yours at the end of the day. Let me know in the comments section below what you're going to be doing, uh, whether you're going to be staying with Windows 10 and getting extended uh, security updates for it, or whether you are going to stay with Windows 10 to the end of life and then jump ship to Linux. I'll be interested to read your comments. And uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.